quite often residents feel alienated from politics and from the work of the council generally. So um, what we do in terms of casework is to actually sort of take those concerns directly to the council and sort of then make sure that a response is, um, is sort of received because um, quite often things can, can be sort of just forgotten. Um, so I just I think it's really important to just keep that relationship going so that people feel that there's a point to voting and they're not just kind of voting for a bunch of faceless people they never see, but hopefully they see us and they see what we do um, and they realise that you know politics there is a point to it. There's um, there's a website that I tell everybody about actually it's really neutral it's not aligned to any political party it's called VoteForPolicies.org. And it's really good because it actually asks you a series of questions. Depending on your answers, um, you're actually sort of uh, aligning yourself with one political party or another, depending on which of the topic subjects you're also answering questions on. Um, and at the end, it will tell you which political party you should be voting up for based on your answers. It's really interesting, actually. I think that would be a really good first port call for anybody who's thinking um, of getting into politics because it will sort of let you know where you are on the political spectrum first of all, um, so you can go into it with your eyes open. If you say just want some work experience and you're mainly interested in what's going on in your local community then research who your local parties are and you know, like these guys have said, look at what they stand for and then rock up and just like I did and just knock on the door and be like, hi, I'm Joe Bloggs and I'm interested in um, media. Um, do you have any work experience going? Um, that's kind of how I got into it. Um, or you could be more politically minded and want to really get involved, in which case, you know, go down the route of getting work experience for that purpose. If you're not really wanting to get involved in politics, but you still want to sort of be involved in the community and make a little bit of a difference, then you can do stuff like start up community groups and campaign to get stuff changed in your local community and just find out who your local councillors are and go to them and say look I've got this idea, can you give me advice on who I need to speak to, what I need to do and how I go about doing it because they're the people that act as the, the sort of bridge like Lucy said between the public and the councils.